Special thanks to Patreon supporter Jarek Barnes for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, the Scared Tube here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the McDonnell Douglas F4E Phantom 2. The F4 Phantom 2 is a tandem 2C twin engine all-weather long-range supersonic jet, jet interceptor and fighter bomber originally developed for the United States Navy by McDonnell Douglas Aircraft. It first entered service in 1960 with the U.S. Navy proving highly adaptable. It was, one, it was also adopted by the U.S. Marine Corps and U.S. Air Force, and by the mid-1960s had become a major part of their air arms. The Phantom is a large fighter with a top speed of over Mach 2.2. It can carry more than 18,000 pounds of weapons on nine external hardpoints, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and various bombs. The F-4, like other interceptors of its time, was initially designed without an internal cannon. Later models incorporated an M61 Vulcan rotary cannon. Beginning in 1959, it set 15 world records for in-flight performance, including an absolute speed record and an absolute altitude record. The F-4 was used extensively during the Vietnam War as it served as the principal air superiority fighter of the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps and became important in the ground attack and aerial reconnaissance roles later in the war. The Phantom II remained in use by the U.S. in the reconnaissance in Wild Weezer, Weasel. Uh, roles in 1991 Gulf War, finally leaving service in 1996. It also was the only aircraft used by both U.S. flight demonstration teams, the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, and the U.S. Navy Blue Angels. The F-4 was also operated by armor, armed forces of 11 other nations. Israel Phantoms saw extensive combat in several Arab-Israel conflicts, while Iran used it in a large fleet of Phantoms acquired before the fall of Shah in the Iran-Iraq War. Phantom production ran from 1958 to 1981 with a total of 5,195 builds, making it the most produced American supersonic military aircraft. As of 2018, 60 years later, uh, uh, its first flight, the F-4 remains in service with Iran, Japan, South Korea, Greece, and Turkey. The aircraft has the most recently been, given, or been in service against the Islamic State group in the Middle East. So, the F-4 Phantom definitely has a huge track record. Obviously, serving in multiple wars, but also basically being introduced in the 1960s and still seeing service um, around the uh, world today. Uh, and still having a service life of over 30 years, too, is quite impressive also uh, for a supersonic aircraft as it all serves from 1960 up until the late 1990s. So really crazy stuff there and uh, mad respect for the Phantom 2. Um, as you can see in front of us here, we have the Phantom 2. It's in the um, Navy uh, ivory. So if you want to go ahead and obviously change it up to be in the Army, you can do it in green. Um, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but since this was first a Navy uh, aircraft, I decided to go ahead and do it in the traditional Navy gray uh, kind of cover scheme. Um, so yeah, you can feel free to change it up as much as you guys want. Um, feel free to go crazy with it. Anyways, I do want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Jarek Barnes for making this tutorial possible. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. You can pledge a small amount every month to uh, the channel and in return get a vehicle request of your choice. So uh, much appreciated to all my Patreon supporters and feel free to check that out. Again, link is down in the description. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the F-4 Phantom, uh, see exactly what we're going to be building. Now, this is the F-4E uh, variant, which is... I believe just slightly different on the outside. I think it has like a little uh, bottom portion that sticks out, which I think actually might be the rotary cannon, the more I think of it. Uh, but yeah, let's go and take a look at it. So starting off with, um, you have the nose of the aircraft just with a nice black nose. And um, I do believe that this is the rotary cannon on the bottom here. It would make sense. Um, I don't remember the exact location of it though. But I know that early F4 Phantoms did not have this little bulge on the bottom. And uh, the newer ones did after the introduction of the rotary cannon so i imagine that's where it's located anyways back we have the cockpit here um they it was a i believe they were no there i believe they were two seaters it might have been two seaters it might have been one seater probably just depends on the variants uh we got the intakes here on both sides you can see the loadouts we have here so this is more designed for a <clears throat> air to air combat one so we have basically the uh drop tanks on both sides here a couple of uh ATGMs, um, or not ATGMs, um, uh, geez, what's the name of them? 
basically anti-air missiles. Um, I forget the early uh, ones, what they were called. And then we also have like some 500 pound bombs here um, mounted in between them. Kind of copying some real um, F4 Phantom loadouts. Uh, you know, again, we did the Navy version. So it's got the, you know, Navy gray kind of color scheme here. And for a picture I found of a squadron, it has a red tail and some red tips to the or kind of end pieces there to the wings. So I decided to go ahead and I decided to go ahead and add those on as I thought it would be a nice little addition, uh, just to kind of give it a little bit more color. And obviously you guys can choose the different colors or just do it all gray, whatever you want to do there, just to kind of break it up a little bit, add a little bit of detail to it. And of course, as we do with most of our uh, jet aircraft, we do have a landed version, as you can see right here. So uh, pretty cool stuff all around here. It's been a long time. A lot of you guys have wanted an F4 Phantom, so I'm happy to finally bring it to you guys. Hope you all enjoy the build, and again, a big thanks to Jarek Barnes for making this tutorial possible. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Uh, layer number, uh, we'll figure it out here in a sec. <laughs> Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer, where you're going to be going ahead and beginning with layer number three. Now the reason why we're beginning with this is because it's a nice point to go ahead and start off with. It gives us a good look at the size of the aircraft, but also uh, gets a lot of the main body kind of started and established that we'll be using for later to basically build off of and it's a lot easier to just build this and then add on the hard points and stuff like that the bombs and all of the, the external fuel tanks we have on the bottom of the aircraft than doing it before and all that stuff um, so that's what we're starting with layer three also uh, if you are interested in building this aircraft landed uh, we will be building this aircraft if, if, if we're in the air so uh, to make sure that you have this correctly positioned off the ground you're going to be wanting to make sure that you have a space of three in between uh, the ground level and also uh, the bottom here of layer three so again you want a space of three blocks so you can see the black here representing the ground level and you can see the bottom here of the jet at this level here with three blocks of space in between them very important to make sure that that is correct if you want to have this thing landed um, if you're in the air then just note that uh, you will need to have an additional two blocks of space underneath the aircraft for the hard points and stuff like that to uh, fit on that we have uh, demonstrated over there with that version there and also, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll do the whole right side of the aircraft in the center line. And then between layers, it's up to you guys to take that design over on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you guys will be good to go. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place down a black wool block here. We're then going to place down a narrow brick up, stay on stair, come off that black wool block, going toward whatever direction you want the front of the aircraft facing. We're going to have it going that way, so we're going to place down the narrow brick up, stay on stair, off that black wool block, going toward the front. We then want to place down a narrow brick top slab, followed by a skeleton skull on the end there for the front. Going back from this black wool block here, we're going to place down an additional black wool block back, so you have a row of two going back from the narrow brick stair. We then want to place down a quartz full block, followed by one, two, and three quartz top slabs. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine iron trap doors on the top portion of the block, so make sure they're not on the bottom here like that. You want to make sure they're on the top of the block like that. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five cobblestone walls across here for the uh, kind of hard point here for the drop tank on the bottom. And then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five iron trap doors back. With that done there, we're going to go back up to the nose, so the front of the aircraft up here, and we're going to go and start working our way out to the side now. So again, whatever we do over here on the right side, you're going to be doing the same thing over on the left side. So for this, we're going to place down signs on the side of this narrow brick top slab and also this narrow brick upside down stair. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a row of two of narrow brick top slabs coming off these two black wool blocks. And after that, we're going to place down a quartz top slab followed by an iron trap door. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and skip back to our fifth iron trap door in the middle row here. And then we're going to place down an iron trap door out to the side. Going back from this iron trap door, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five five, six, seven, eight, and nine iron trap doors back, ending at this cobblestone wall here. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven quartz top slabs back, followed by another brick top slab like that on the end there. And once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to this iron trap door here. We're going to go ahead and go one iron trap door out to the side, and going forward, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron trap doors forward so you have a row of five here currently going back to this iron trap door we're going to place down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen iron trap doors ending at this last quartz top slab back here and in total these iron trap doors should be a length of 21 blocks 
With that done here, we're gonna go ahead and go to this iron trap door. We're gonna go out to the side, one iron trap door like this, and we want to go ahead and go back, uh, back. Uh, so we have one already. We have two, three, four, and five iron trap doors. Now, one thing I want to mention here, real quick, is that if you are having the missiles on here, we're we wanting to leave these spaces open. However, uh, if you aren't and you just want the solid hard points here, you can go and fill in with iron trap doors. But just note that uh, these iron trap doors here will be deleted a little bit later, but we'll just go ahead and include them now to make it make it a little bit easier for us in the layer and delete the layer uh, later. Anyways, so we have a row of five so far of iron trap doors. We're going to go ahead and go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 iron trap doors back. So there should be a total of five iron trap doors from the previous row still sticking out going toward the back. With that done here, we're going to go ahead and go up back up to the kind of mid section here. We're going to go ahead and count back to our fifth iron trap door back. Here we're going to place down an iron trap door out to the side. Now, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and drop down from that iron trap door and we're going to place down a quartz slab like this. And then we want to place down a quartz stair after it. So, quartz stair like that after it. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves some cobblestone walls, and we're going to place down a row of three of cobblestone walls. So one, two, and three cobblestone walls back. We're going to take iron trap doors and place down one, two, three, four, five, and six iron trap doors back from that cobblestone wall. Going to this iron or this uh, court stair here, we're going to place down an iron trap door out to the side of it, and we want to go ahead and place down a row of iron trap doors back again. So we have one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine and ten so you have a row of ten of iron trap doors uh once that's done going ahead and going out to the side again we're going to go to this iron trap door here the second one out to the side we're going to place down one iron trap door coming off of it followed by uh one two three four five six seven eight and nine iron trap doors back like that so you have a row in total of ten it should stick out past the back here and have a little bit of an indent in the front there once uh, that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the second iron trap door here, so just like this, and place down a row of one, two, three, four, I can actually get it, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, so in total you have a row of nine here of iron trap doors along the side there. And uh, with that uh, done there, we're going to go ahead and then go ahead and go to this uh, iron trap door right here, we're going to go to the side of it. Place down a quartz slab, followed by a second quartz slab after it, and then after that, we're gonna go and place down a quartz stair, so kind of similar to what we did for the first hard point. So, quartz stair like that. Uh, going to back from this quartz stair, we're gonna place down a total of one, two, and three cobblestone walls back, followed by a quartz slab here on the end, like that, and then a iron trap door coming off this quartz slab. Also, coming off the iron or the uh, quartz uh, slabs up here, we're gonna place down one and two iron trap doors going forward. Uh, also on the end here, we're gonna go ahead and skip a space from this iron trap door here and then place down one iron trap door back like that. So you have a space right there and it looks something just like that. Uh, with that all wrapped up there, we can go ahead and then go to this cobblestone wall here, place down an iron trap door to the side of it, go back one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it connects up to the iron trap door back here and he has something that looks like this. And also this iron trap door here, we can also go ahead and probably fill in this space right here. So we have two iron trap doors right there. Um, I think that was just something that wasn't uh, replaced after I uh, originally was designed that. Anyways, taking a look at it from above, this is what we should have for uh, layer three. And you're gonna go into obviously take what we did on the right side here and flip it over to the left side. And with that all done, that's going to wrap up layer three. Let's move on to our next set of layers, uh, layers uh, one for two. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our next set of layers, we have layers 1 through 2. Now these layers here are going to basically just cover putting the hard points, such as the missiles and the drop tanks, onto the aircraft. So that's what we're going to be mainly focusing in on this section right here. If you do want to do your own hard points and do your own missile loadouts or whatever you want to do, then obviously you can skip this layer altogether and uh, just pick up on layer 4. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into it for layer 2 here. Now, for us to go ahead and get started, we're going to go ahead and go to the cobblestone walls here that are in the middle, so this space right here. And we want to place down four quartz full blocks going, or sorry, five quartz full blocks going down from these five cobblestone walls. Now, going toward the back here, we're going to place down an additional one and two quartz full blocks back, followed by two quartz slabs. Going toward the front here, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four quartz full blocks going forward. And in total, we should have a total of 11 quartz full blocks like that. Going on the front here, we're going to place down a quartz stair, followed by a quartz slab going toward the front of the aircraft like that. 
On the bottom of this quartz slab, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, followed by a quartz stair. We're going to place down a row of quartz full blocks. That's going to be a total of 10 blocks in length, followed by two quartz top slabs on the bottom of this quartz full block and quartz top slab. So you get something that looks just like this for the center line there of that drop tank. When that's done there, we're going to start working our way out to the side. So we're going to place down an iron trap door coming off these two, or sorry, my bad. It's going to be coming off these two quartz stairs like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, quartz slab on top of it. And with that done there, we're going to place down a quartz stair like that on uh, both the top and bottom there. Going back from this quartz stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five upside down quartz stairs back. So this turns into a corner stair. And the same thing over here up on top. Once that's done there, we want to go ahead and take our quartz top slabs. We're going to place down a row of one and two on the bottom here and two quartz slabs up on top. We're then going to place down two iron trap doors, one on the bottom, one on the uh, top block. So you get something that looks like that and that's going to do it there for your center drop tank. When that's done there, we're going to go and work our way out to the sides now. So for the sides here, for us to go ahead and get started, we are going to go ahead and place down a row of, well, let me just go and grab the blocks here. Uh, but uh, yeah, to get started here, we're going to go and grab ourselves our green uh, terracotta here. We're going to place down a green terracotta block coming off this quartz stair. And then we want to go ahead and go back from that green terracotta block. And we're going to place down two more blocks back. So one and two more blocks back. After that's done there, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, followed by a zombie head on the end of it. And same thing going toward the front here, coming off this green terracotta block, a zombie head going toward the front. And then on the bottom of the first two green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down wooden trap doors, like so. With that done there, we're going to go ahead and put the missiles in. So for the missiles here, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz top slab on both sides of this skeleton skull up here in the front, followed by a skeleton skull coming off those quartz top slabs. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our quartz top slabs, and we want to go ahead and go back from these blocks right here. A total of one, two, three, and four blocks back. Same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. Uh, with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves dark oak wood fence gates. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate that's coming off this quartz top slab right here. And we're going to have it opened up toward the quartz top slab and a sign coming off of it toward the back. And same thing over here. Oh, my bad. Uh, just like this. And we can crouch in midair and we can place down a wooden trap or a dark oak wood fence gate. Closed up, sign like that on it. Um, and as I mentioned before, uh, you can have these little red stone repeaters on it to add a little bit more to the um, build here. So if you really want to include this, you can break the iron trap door above this quartz uh, top slab here. And you'll be able to fit in a red stone repeater like that on the missile there. And then toward the front here, we're going to place down a quartz or a red stone repeater on top of this quartz top slab. And then we can break this uh, quartz top slab or, or, or iron trap door and place down a... Uh, redstone repeater on the inside there. Also at the front of the missile here on both sides of this first quartz top slab we're going to be placing down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off of it opened up toward the quartz top slab and same thing over here as well just like that. Now with that done there we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves our quartz full blocks. So for our quartz full blocks we're going to go, ahead and go to the bottom of this iron trap door here and going to all the way to the iron trap doors in the front and placing down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 quartz full blocks going toward the front there. After that's done, uh, we then want to go ahead and uh, wrap up the front here. So for the front, we're going to be placing down a stone button on this um, quartz full block followed by a skeleton skull to both sides of it. Going back from the skeleton skull, we're going to be placing down a row of quartz, uh, or sorry, cobblestone walls back. So uh, we're going to go and grab those. And we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 cobblestone walls back. Once that's done, come in, go ahead and actually it's going to be a row of 8. So my bad, one less on the back here. We then want to place down additional quartz block going back. A skeleton skull on both sides of this quartz full block right here. And also the row of 8 of cobblestone walls on this side as well. And then uh, toward the back here, we're just going to place down a... Uh, Skeleton skull come off this quartz full block on the end here and then on the bottom of this tank We're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some iron trap doors and quartz slabs We're gonna place down an iron trap door on this second to last quartz block on the back here And then one two three four five six and seven quartz top slabs forward followed by two iron trap doors going toward the front there And now right there we'll do it for uh, the drop tanks here on the side of the wings Obviously you're just gonna take what we did 
over here on both side on the uh, right side and copied over to both sides and you'll have uh, basically the drop tanks all the hard points and missiles and all that fun stuff built onto the F4 Phantom with that let's go ahead and move up to our next layer layer 4 alright guys moving on to our next layer we have layer number 4 for layer 4 we're going to start off by going ahead and going to the nose up here we're going to place down a black wool block on top of this snare brick up sound stair followed by a black wool block on this first black wool block right up here so we have a row two like this we then want to place down a nair brick upside down stair coming off this black wool blocks toward the front followed by another brick top slab and then a end rod coming off that top slab toward the front like so going back from this black wool block we're going to be placing down a long row of quartz full blocks that's going to be a total of 28 blocks in length so going back from this black wool block all the way toward the back here 28 blocks in length and it should stick out one past these uh, nether brick top slabs like that for the back engines here. Once that's done, we're gonna place down a quartz upside down stair here on the end, followed by a skeleton skull coming off that quartz stair like that on the back. On both sides of this quartz stair, we're also gonna be placing down a sign, so just like that to wrap up the back there. With that done, we're gonna go back up to the front and start working our ways out to the side. So to start off with, we're gonna grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull, place it down on both sides of this nether brick upside down stair, and after that, we're gonna place down a row of two of cobblestone walls. We then want to place down a black wool block, followed by a row of one, two uh, polished andesite blocks, and then we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. And the stone brick upside down stair is going to face this direction, like that. Coming off that upside down stair, we're going to be placing down a row of one, two, three, four uh, quartz upside down stairs back, and actually it's going to be a total of five quartz upside down stairs back, like that along the side there. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves quartz full blocks. So I'm going to go, and grab, go into our inventory real quick and grab some. We're going to be placing down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 quartz full blocks back. So let me just go and get a double count here. And yes, it is 15 blocks back. Once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some glowstone, place down a glowstone block, and then a orange stained glass block after that glowstone block. Uh, that's going to do it for that row there, and we're going to go back up to the front and start working our way out to the side for our next row. So for our next row here, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, come off this stone brick stair here. We then want to go ahead and go one, two, and three cobblestone walls back. Alright guys, so going ahead and get two on. After those cobblestone walls, we're going to be placing down a black wool block. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six quartz full blocks back. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12 polished andesite blocks back followed by a nether brick full block on coming off this polished andesite block on the end there should be in line with this nether brick top side that we placed in the previous layer going back up to the front we're going to start working our way out to the side again as well come off this black wool block we're going to place down one more black wool block out to the side like so and we also want to go ahead and place down two iron trap doors on top of those two iron trap doors on the top portion of the block so you have something that looks like that going back from this black wool block here we're going to place down a polished andesite block so just like this to the side, followed by a stone brick stair. After that stone brick stair, we're going to place down one and two polished NSA blocks back, followed by two black wool blocks, where they're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five polished NSA blocks back, followed by two stone brick slabs, and then we want to place down two stone slab blocks back like that. Going back up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some wooden trap doors, and we're going to be placing down a wooden trap door coming off these two, iron trap doors so just like that after that's done there we're going to go ahead and go back to this stone brick stair here we're going to place down a stone brick slab coming off of it to the side and we then want to place down a second stone brick slab back followed by a polished andesite block and then two black wool blo black wool blocks back we're going to place down a row of four of polished andesite so one two three four and then a stone brick stair like that turn off the stone brick stair we're going to place down two stone brick slabs back and then we want to place down two stone slab blocks back like that uh, going ahead and go into our next row out to the side we're gonna go ahead and place down a stone brick slab that's going to come off this slab right here followed by a second slab back like that we then want to place down one two uh, three four five and six polished hands that blocks back from those stone brick slabs and then back from that we're gonna place down a row of three of stone brick slabs so one two three and then two stone slabs but back like that once uh, that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and continue to go out to the side here. So coming off this stone brick slab here, we're going to place down a, or this polished dance block, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by a stone brick stair. After the stone brick stair, two polished dance blocks back, and another stone brick stair like this, and then one, two, three, four 
uh, stone brick slabs back like that and actually my bed is going to be five stone brick slabs back and then a stone uh, slab like that on the end there. For our next row out to the side we're going to come off this stone brick stair here place down a stone brick slab fall by one two three four five six seven and eight blocks back fall by a um a stone slab full block and then we're gonna place down or sorry a stone slab block or slab sorry and then a stone slab coming off of it like that toward the rear uh once that's all finished there we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab on top of this stone brick stair here or the top of this quartz stair right here and then going back from it we're gonna place down one two three four five and six stone brick slabs back and then two stone slabs so in total you have a row seven here uh, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and go out to the sides again. So we're going to go ahead and go to the second stone brick slab back, place down a stone brick slab on that iron trap door. Then we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six blocks back, and then a stone slab like that on the end there, uh, like that. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to go up to the second stone brick slab here, and we want to go ahead and go up and at an angle, place down a stone brick top slab like that to the side there. We're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves quartz stairs and we're going to be placing down a row of what it's going to be one, two, three, and four, and uh, actually five quartz upside down stairs along the side there. We then want to grab ourselves a uh, brick top slab and we're going to be placing down a row of two of brick top slabs coming off the last quartz upside down stair. Once that's done there, we're going to grab ourselves quartz slabs and we're going to be placing down a quartz top slab coming off this first quartz stair. And then we want to place down one, two, three, four, and five back to so row six here, and then a brick slab or brick top slab, sorry, on the end there. When that's done there, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves iron trap doors. We're gonna place down an iron trap door, come off this quartz top slab, fall by one, two, and three. That go forward to so row four here, and then two iron trap doors come off the two on the end there like that. So basically your wing looks something like this, and this right there should wrap up layer four. That's probably the longest layer out of all of them just because there's a lot going on there and setting up the wings and all that fun stuff. But once you have that out of the way, that is going to almost do it for the layer. Actually, I just forgot. Almost missed it too. We have this little piece here of the horizontal stabilizers that start to come into play. So luckily I caught that real quick and we didn't have to do, redo it a little bit later. But anyways, to go ahead and get to this point, we're going to go from the skeleton skull here. We're going to go one, two, and three blocks back. From the third block, we're going to go, and go out to the sides, one, two, three, and four. So out to the sides, one, two, three, and four. With that done there, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, followed by a uh, stone top slab back. We then want to go and drop down from the, the stone top slab here and place down a stone brick slab. And then we can just go ahead and delete the uh, place where blocks in between here. So we have the starts there of our uh, horizontal stabilizers there on the rear uh, in place and ready to go. With that all done, that is going to wrap up layer four. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer five. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we go ahead and move it on to layer five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a black carpet on top of this narrow brick top slab here on the front, followed by two narrow brick slabs back. We're really going to place down two black wool blocks, followed by a polished andesite block. If you do want to leave some space to do a little bit of an interior for the cockpit, you can go ahead and leave yourself a space of five. Uh, blocks right here, but if you don't want or really don't care about doing an interior for the pilot uh, You can go ahead and just fill this in with five polished andesite blocks However, basically in total here We want to have a long row of polished andesite going all the way back here to this quartz upside down stair And so this in total will be a row 28 of polished andesite and then if you decide to remove these uh, Five blocks right there for the cockpit. Uh, you'll have a row of what is going to be uh, 22 blocks that go back like this um, anyways, once that's done there, we're going to place down a quartz full block after this polished andesite block, followed by a quartz upside down stair, quartz top slab, and then an iron trap door on the top portion of this top slab on the back there. Going up, going back up to the front, we're going to work our way out to the side. We're going to place down a uh, wither skeleton skull on this cobblestone wall like that. We then want to place down a nether brick slab back from it, and then we're going to place down a brick stair like so. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a black wool block. After that black wool block, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 polished andesite blocks back. We're going to place down a glowstone block on top of this one, orange stained glass block on top of this one, and then a nether brick top slab coming off of it like so. Uh, going out to the side here, we're going to go ahead and go back over the front and work our way out to the side again. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall coming off this... Um, polished andesite block right here 
and we want to go ahead and go back from this. So we want to go ahead and go back one, two, and three. Now this uh, cobblestone wall right here actually needs to be one less, so we're actually going to break this cobblestone wall here on the bottom, and same thing over here. Um, that should have been one less, and this should be a little bit angled there, so we want something like something like that. Um, anyways, once that's finished off there, uh, we have our four cobblestone walls here. We're going to place down a black wool block. Going back from the black wool block, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen polished anesthetic blocks back. And then a stone brick stair over the piece in that direction. And then after that stone brick stair, one and two stone brick stairs. So you have a corner stair, two regular stairs. And then uh, we're just going to place down a narrow brick slab here. Uh, come off this stone brick stair on the back here. Um, when that's done there, we're going to go ahead and go to our uh, tail back here. And we're going to go ahead and basically continue building this up. So we want to go ahead and go from the stone slab. We're going to go ahead and go up at an angle like that. And then one stone slab forward. And then a stone brick slab forward from that. Once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone slab coming off this one right here, followed by a second one forward, and then a stone brick stair like this, and we're going to grab ourselves a skeleton skull and place it down coming off of this stone slab block right there. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves stone brick uh, slabs. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab like this, followed by a second one back, and then we want to just place down two stone slabs going back like that so you get something that looks like that for the tail there. Uh, with that all done there, that will wrap up the uh, tail, and let's go ahead and continue working our way out to the sides. So, for us to go ahead and get, continue on here, we're going to place down a light gray banner, come off this uh, third, or this uh, second cobblestone wall, like that on that row right there. Once that's done there, we're going to grab ourselves a wooden trap door. We're going to place down a wooden trap door that is going to be on the inside here, so on top of these two iron trap doors, like so, and then we're going to open it up to the side here, and then come off those uh, iron trap doors, we're going to be placing down two. Uh, light gray banners like that. Next we're going to place down a black wool block next to this one followed by a polished anesthetic block after that and on the polished anesthetic block and black wool block we're going to place down uh, light gray banners as well. We then want to take cobblestone walls, place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six cobblestone walls back and that right there will wrap that up and we just want to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron trap doors, place down one and two iron trap doors after those cobblestone walls and then one and two that come off to the side like so for a little bit more shaping there for the wings. Once that's done there, we're going to grab ourselves some light gray carpet, some brick slabs, and again, some stone brick slabs. So for our wings here, we're going to go ahead and go to the top of these stone brick slabs in all the quartz upside, upside down stairs and top slabs. We're going to place down light gray carpet for the wings so you get something that looks like that. We then want to go ahead and basically follow the outline here uh, of the iron trap doors. So we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three stone brick, uh, or sorry, it's actually going to be four stone brick slabs back, followed by a brick slab. After that, we're going to place down two stone brick slabs on those iron trap doors, and then a brick slab back like that. And that right there will wrap up your wings, and uh, pretty much wrap up layer five altogether. Obviously, take what we do on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have basically a good portion of the phantom looking so far. Uh, one thing that we do need to do is we do need to add on this banner here. So I'm going to see you guys in a sec here as we go ahead and create that banner. Also, real quick, before we go ahead and move into putting that banner on real quick, I want to go ahead and add uh, one thing on that was supposed to be done in layer 4. So for layer 4 here, going to these two stone brick slabs, there's actually supposed to be an item frame with a black wool block in the item frame coming off of the wings here on both sides. And this was something that didn't transfer over with World Edit when I was copying the layer on previously, so that's why the um, item frame was missing there. Uh, but now we just want to throw those on both sides there for those to uh, look nicely. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to doing that banner on the side. Alright guys, so the banners we're going to be making in this layer are uh, just these little arrow pieces. Now you can see here that these ar arrows are actually incorrect as the arrow is supposed to be facing toward the front here. And I didn't do it the uh, other one for this version. So we will be making two different banners uh, to basically place down on each side. So to start off with, we're going to be placing down a crafting table. We're going to go ahead and go in this crafting table. We're going to place down a light gray banner in the crafting table. We want to go and do a diagonal line of rose red across like this. So you get just a nice uh, slash across the banner. We're going to go ahead and place our banner back into the crafting table here. Place down a narrow row, go in the opposite direction. So you basically you get a light gray banner with a big red X on it. However, when we get to this point here, we're going to take our light gray die. And on one side of the banner here, we're going to go ahead and basically do this like this. So it cuts the X in half. We go ahead and grab it and we get something that looks uh, basically just like that. Now, uh, this right here will be going on the left side of the aircraft as the arrow will, as the arrow will kind of point forward. And over here on the right side, we're going to need to do something different because if we just place down this banner, it just faces the wrong direction. 
So for other banner, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. So banner in here, a line of rows right across, and then we're going to place down a line going the opposite direction, save it X. And then instead of placing down the uh, light gray uh, die over here on the left side, we're going to do it over here on the right side. So basically we get a banner that's facing the opposite direction of it, as you can see, like that. If we go over ahead and go on this side, go to the black wool block, place down a banner, and you see the arrow faces toward the front. And once you have those two arrows created there, you pretty much have layer um, uh, layer 5 all complete. And with that, we can move on to our next layer, layer 6. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 6. For layer 6, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to be placing down a iron trap door on this second black wool block right here. We then want to place down a narrow brick slab on top of this polished andesite block. So just like that. And then after that, we're going to place down a row of five of light gray stained glass full blocks back right here for the glass there of our cockpit. After that, we're going to place down a long row of what is going to be 26 polished andesite blocks, which should end on top of this iron trap door on the end here, followed by a stone brick stair like this upside down on the end here like this with a sign on both sides. Once that's done, going back up to the front and working our way out to the sides, we're going to go and place down a light gray stained glass pane coming off this light, first light gray stained glass block there on both sides. We're going to place down a row of one and two narrow brick slabs back, followed by two black wool blocks, a red wool block, and then the nether black wool block like that. After that black wool block, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen polished anesthetic blocks back, followed by one and two cobblestone walls. After that, we're going to take stone brick stairs, place down one, two, three, four, and five stone brick stairs back like that. And uh, also, uh, one thing that I forgot to do in the previous layer was place down a skeleton skull from off this stone slab here on both sides. So go ahead and throw that on real quick, and you'll be good to go back for here, back there for the tail. Uh, going back up to the front, we're going to go ahead and continue to work our way out to the sides here. So when we get to this point here, we're going to be placing down uh, some black wool block, or some, sorry, light gray banners, and they're going to be on these two black wool blocks like that. Once that's uh, done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of narrow brick slabs back so from those light gray banners we're going to go back one two three four five uh six seven eight uh narrow brick slabs back we then want to place down a stone brick slab on both sides narrow brick slab stone brick slab and narrow brick slab back like this followed by a row of two of iron trap or sorry my bad a row of two of stone brick slabs and then two iron trap doors back like that after that's done, we're going to go ahead and go out to the side again. We're going to go ahead and place down a black carpet on top of this wooden trapdoor in the front here, followed by an iron trapdoor back from it. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of two of narrow brick slabs, so one and two narrow brick slabs back. And then grabbing our skeleton skulls here, we're going to place down one, two uh, skeleton skulls, and then one here at a slight angle like that. And uh, once that's done there on both sides, um, you pretty much have everything good to go for layer 7. I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anything, as that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's it for uh, layer 6. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 7. Alright guys, so going ahead and move into our next layer, we have layer 7. For layer 7, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go and place down the narrow brick slab on the second light gray stainless full block right here. Going back from the narrow brick slab, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four light gray stained glass panes or full blocks going back, followed by a polished andesite block, a stone brick stair, stone brick slab, stone brick stair. We then want to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve stone brick slabs back, followed by another brick slab here. Now, if you do want to do a different color for the tail, then you can feel free to do so. You can do it just straight in stone if you guys want to with having the stone buttons and uh, wooden trap door or wooden signs there, uh, the blocks that they're connected to actually in stone slab full blocks to kind of keep the flap design going there. Uh, but if you want to do a color, uh, you can feel free to go ahead and just do a, whatever color you guys want here to copy the version I have over there. I'm going to be doing red. So for this, I'm going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red wool blocks back, followed by a wooden trap or an end rod, sorry, that sticks off the end here. I then want to go ahead and go to both sides of this uh, red wool block, place down a wooden sign and also a stone button here. Again, where this uh, sign and stone button are, you can place down two stone slab full blocks as well to go ahead and create the red color there. Uh, but um, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and go for a straight uh, red tail design. But you know, we can see what it looks like here as well. 
uh, with the colors here with the kind of back here highlighted and it you know doesn't look too bad so maybe we can go and go with it for this version here uh, but yeah pretty simple stuff there you can choose to do whatever you guys want there on the back um, but yeah that right there will do it for the back and now let's work our way out to the sides so we're gonna way out to the sides we're gonna place down a uh, wither skeleton skull here about a 45 degree angle on both sides of this narrow brick slab on top of this one from the previous layer we then want to take our light gray stained glass panes we're going to go ahead and go back one two three and four along those light gray stained glass full blocks followed by a stone brick stair with its back to the polished andesite block two narrow brick slabs back and then a row of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen iron trap doors back after that's all done there that's going to pretty much wrap up layer seven and with that we're going to move into our last final layers which are going to basically be layers eight nine ten and eleven all right guys so going ahead and continuing on uh we're gonna be going ahead and moving into our last final layers we have layers eight through eleven so for these layers here we're gonna go ahead and start off by going ahead and grabbing our iron trap doors and placing down two iron trap doors on top of those two light gray stained glass full blocks once that's done there we're gonna place down a nether brick fence post on top of this stone brick stair like so after that's done we're going to go, and go back to the tail here we're gonna place down a brick stair on top of this red wool block like this and then going back from the red wool block or sorry back from this the brick stair we're gonna place down one two three and four uh red uh basically red wool blocks and then we can place down two stone slabs um full blocks as we're doing and then science here on the sides or you can just choose to do the tail all one silver color again we already went over that so you can choose there anyways uh we're then gonna place down a um brick slab so we already have some over here so i can just grab some real quick place down a brick slab on top of this red wool block here come off the brick slab going toward the front we're going to want to place down a end rod so just like that going toward the front there after the um stone brick slab here we're going to place down one two three uh red wool blocks back and if you guys want to go ahead and add on some lettering some numbering or whatever onto the tail here uh you're going to be going ahead and placing down two banners whatever color you choose like this with the letters on the side here I'll, I won't be showing you guys how to make the letters banners in this tutorial, but if you guys are interested in putting some letter banners on the back here, I'll be linking two tutorials down in the description that will show you guys how to make lettered and numbered uh, banners so you can choose what you guys want there. But basically where these yellow banners are, that's where they're going to go. Anyways, once that's done there, we're going to place down two stone slab blocks right here on the tail here to continue this going up. Stone buttons on the sides, obviously, and signs as well on both sides. And then uh, for our next row up, we're going to place down a stone brick, or sorry, a brick stair on top of the second red wool block back, followed by a red wool block coming off the back of the stone brick stair, or sorry, the brick stair, uh, two stone full blocks, signs, stone buttons, just like we did before. And you get that on the, the tail there. And then on top here, we're just going to place down one, two, and three stone brick slabs across the top. Also on the sides here, the stone brick stair, or the, sorry, I keep seeing stone brick stair for some reason, but just the brick stair. We're going to place down signs and we also want to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off of it toward the front there and uh, once that's all done there again you'll have the letter banners here um, at both those positions where the yellow banners are marked and anyways once you guys have that all squared away you can go and uh, do your banner numbered banners and everything like that and that'll pretty much wrap up the in-flight version of the f4 phantom if you guys are interested in building the landing gear version we'll go on ahead and move it on to that portion of the tutorial next so with that, let's go ahead and move into the landed version of the F4 Phantom 2. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to building the landed version of the F4 Phantom. Uh, before we go ahead and dive right into it, I want to go ahead and make sure that we have everything correct. Now basically from the ground here to the front nose, we should have a total of three blocks of space like this in between. If it is one block too high, one block too low, your aircraft is not going to sit right on the ground and also these drop tanks or the middle drop tank should only be a block off the ground so you want to make sure that those are correct before continuing any further if they're not then you're going to want to make sure that you correct those but if they're all good to go uh, we can go ahead and get started here now the first thing for us to do is to go ahead and go to the bottom section here we're going to break uh, this these three quartz slabs right here so we're going to break one two and three quartz slabs like this we also want to break these quartz full blocks like so within here and we're gonna place down a quartz ups and down stair in this place or this spot right here and then we can place down two quartz tops that was behind it like that for the little uh wheel well or whatever you want to call it here and actually we will need to break this uh quartz full block here in the iron trap door and place down this so you have a row three of uh quartz top slabs in the, in the middle there and then a quartz ups and down stair in the front after that we're gonna place down a cobblestone wall that comes down from that 
uh, quartz stair like that, drops down. We then want to place down a quartz stair like so. And then coming down from the quartz stair itself, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on the bottom of it. On the bottom of this quartz, or this cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, block of coal of both sides. And then coming off the blocks of coal, we're going to place down an item frame, a white glass pane in it, and a stone button over it. And same thing over here. Just like that for the wheels there. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a quartz stair like this, coming off that, um, coming off that quartz uh, stair like that. And then we're going to place down a uh, lever on the bottom of it flicked toward the cobblestone wall. With uh, that done there, we're going to go ahead and go to this section here. We're going to place down a brick slab coming off this cobblestone wall and then a brick top slab like that that goes in to kind of connect up there. When that's all finished there, we want to go ahead and then place down a quartz, uh, quartz stair facing this direction like so. And then go back from the quartz stair and place down one and two more stairs after it. So you have two upside down stairs, corner stair, and then we're going to place this iron trap door here with a quartz top slab like that. After that's all done there, we're going to be going, that will pretty much wrap up the uh, front wheel and uh, we're going to go ahead now move on to the rear wheels. Alright guys, so moving on to the rear landing gear. Now for this, we're only going to go ahead and do one of the wheels over here on the right side and the other side you can copy it over it's, as it's the exact same thing on both sides. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go to this row right here. We're going to go ahead and go to our fifth iron trap door from the back here and we're going to delete those two iron trap doors like this. Coming down from these, we're going to place down two quartz full blocks, followed by an additional two quartz full blocks down. So basically you have uh, two rows of two here going down. We then want to place down a stone brick stair, come off this quartz full block here, and then come off this stone brick stair itself, and place down a stone brick top slab. Once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall that's going to drop down from this quartz or this uh, stone brick upside down stair. And then on the bottom of this cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair like this with signs on the side and front of the stair like that. On the bottom of this, we're going to place down a quartz, or sorry, a stone brick top slab, and then we're going to grab ourselves some narrow brick stairs, and which will be here, and we're going to place down a narrow brick upside down stair come off this uh, stone brick top slab, and then one coming off that narrow brick upside down stair. And then on top of these two uh, narrow brick stairs, we're going to place down two quartz stairs like that, back to back, like so, and you have your landing gear done right there. And you're going to take that same design from the landing gear, flip it over to the other side, and we'll come back here in a sec when we have it flipped over. And as you can see, we have the other side copied over, so we have both uh, landing gear on both sides there all complete. And if we go ahead and uh, take a look at it, the landed version of the F4 Phantom is all complete and good to go. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up my tutorial for the uh, McDonnell Douglas F4E uh, Phantom 2. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thing from the sun the build between my channel or this video if this does bring any social media sites. As long as I get proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, have fun with the build, enjoy it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big thanks to Patreon supporter Jarek Barnes for making this tutorial possible. And again, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down again in the description. Um, other than that, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.